All right, in this morning's Health Watch, signs that this flu season could be a nasty one. A mutated strain of the virus is surging around the world and raising alarms in the U.S. Uh, CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, Nate. All right, so uh, what do people need to know about this mutated uh, flu strain, and, and does it cause more severe symptoms for people that get it? Well, it's flu season, and people need to take it very seriously. Last year, there were 280 pediatric deaths Mm. And 90% of those children who died were unvaccinated. Mm. Very serious. We're off to a start in the United States. The activity right now is low, but it's increasing. And over in Japan, it was an early, and it looks like a little bit of a harsh flu season. And there's a mutated form of the flu, vex, of the flu virus. Of course, flu virus is always mutating of course. over there. Right now, we don't, we're not seeing this in, in big numbers here, but the, the fear is that it could also be here, and whether it causes more severe illness here is to be seen. So what does that mean when it comes to this year's flu vaccine in comparison right. to this mutated strain, and what does that mean for protection? So there is a mismatch. What do I mean by that? Mismatch. Okay, that we, are sound good. we are using the same technology from the 1940s where we identify the virus, we, we pick strains, three of them, in February or March. Okay. And that's because we have to grow up the virus in eggs. It takes like five or six months to make the batch. So we have to make a guess there. This year, over the summer, it mutated. It changed away. And one particular strain called H3N2, which tends to cause more severe illness, uh, that's now a mismatch from the... The vaccine strain. So typically we're ahead of it, but it seems like we're chasing it right now. Now we're chasing it. And the question is, is there going to be a mismatch? Mm. So, and, and, and right now, uh, there's, there's hope that with this current batch that we have, that, that it's still good enough. That, and I want people to understand that they should still get the, the, still get the flu vaccine. The CDC recommends that everybody six months and older, with rare exceptions, should get the flu vaccine. So get the flu vaccine that's available and then see if there's going to be another one that matches this Well, strain. there's not going to be another There's not going to be another one. Because it, okay, takes, right. it takes so it long takes time. To, that's to, right. to make it. In, in London, in England, a study out there showed that there was still good protection against hospitalization. You may get sick. And, of course, messenger RNA technology, this is the technology that gave us the, the COVID vaccine yeah. so quickly. That is something where if we knew there was a mismatch, say, in July, we could pivot. Yeah. We could make new batch of vaccine. Gotcha. However, we don't have that right now, and there's cutbacks on uh, research into that. All right, Doc, get vaccinated, right? Yeah. All right, appreciate you. Thank you.